Hi, this is Gable from ExoticBluePen.com. In this video, I'm going to make this Bacote guitar pick. It's got grains going in different direction. You can see the figuring on it, the shape. And uh, that is going to be inspired by this old band that I used to like to listen to, Striper, uh, from one of the band members I used to work with way back in the day at one of my old jobs, Oz Fox. So anyway, this is a piece inspired by them. Okay, at the bandsaw, I'm going to cut a couple of end pieces of Bacote to go. I think I like this grain better, this end piece. So we're going to go ahead and cut that. It's about a 1 8 inch slice. Okay, so those are going to look good right there, and then I'm going to change the direction of the grain. I'm going to cut a larger piece, about the same width as that, so I'm not getting too carried away. And then I want this about uh, three quarters of an inch thick or size of a pen blank. So that I can book match those. Okay, now I got a long thick. Now what I want to do is cut that back down to this same thickness this way, so I can get a grain differentiation going on. Um, and you'll see what that looks like in a second. So use that as a spacer, the thickness of the, the original cut. Okay. Again, if I had it laying flat, it wouldn't look as interesting. I want the crisp lines instead. So I'm switching direction on that piece of wood. Okay, and now we'll just glue these up. Okay, so before we can glue these pieces together, I want to make sure all these edges are flat so I can get a real good uh, tight glue surface, a glue joint rather. And uh, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do flip, flip around and do all sides in case I change my mind. Now I'll just do one side of each and then um, then I'll glue them together afterwards. So Dissander's coming on and the dust collection. <laughs> Easy to see which side goes where. On both of those. So I'll just go ahead and glue those together and then I'll trace them out and we'll cut them out. Okay, I've got one piece of tape down from here to here. 
And I'm going to do the same thing again. This is just for a glue surface so it doesn't stick. So I can get it off of the tools. Okay. And that's roughly the length of these pieces here. So, again, I'm just going to butt those two pieces together. One on each side. The side, this is the the sanded part, you can see it's pretty rough. That side's clean. Let me get a little glue on that. Okay, I'm gonna use some medium CA glue. Push that together. And give a little squeeze with my fingers. A little accelerator. Same thing with the other, other one. Just work that glue in there. It's got a good... Okay. Let that set for a second. Okay, after that, the glue's dried, and I just roughly sanded one side real quick. You can see... This side hasn't been sanded. It's pretty ugly looking, so you can get, get a better idea of what's going on there. I'm going to take a guitar pick. I'm going to start at the bottom. I want to balance that out. Well, that looks good. Then just trace it. Got the idea then we'll just uh, cut those out and shape them so I'll just Okay, back to the disc sander and then you can see this is roughly shaped so we'll go in and shape one of those out vacuum on Okay, now we're just going to go and do the shaping.
normally it takes about 20 minutes of shaping. Um, I can get it down to about 10, depending on the wood, if it's a softer wood. This is kind of hard. My Dremel bit is getting a little worn. I need to replace that, but I'm out, so it's going to take a little while. I'm just going to do some shaping here off camera. Okay, well, I'm making a little headway here. I'm starting to get a very good shape. I've got a, it's a little bit of a flat spot, but i got to rub that down to where I get where I want it. On this side, I've got a little bit of a divot going on. You can kind of see that in the light. And that looks like a little oval. And I'm just going to sand that out. Okay, it's starting to take shape. I'm going to switch this head out. I'm going to put on a Dremel sanding flap or flap sander. And then that will even everything out and give you some nice clean, nice clean lines with what I'm working with here. finish it but the grain doesn't really show up very well so I'm going to put a little mineral oil on it just to pop that grain out okay I put a little oil on that so we have a cross grain diagonal not diagonal it's just a cross grain Bacote guitar pick again these are good for picking but not for strumming if you like it uh, give me a thumbs up like or subscribe. Thank you.